80% of New Year's resolutions fail by February. So if you've ever failed at a New Year's resolution, especially a fitness related one, you are not alone. But this year in 2024, you are actually going to stick to your fitness resolutions because I am going to give you a step-by-step -step plan on how to make that happen. There's a lot of different reasons why people fail their New Year's resolutions, and it depends a lot on who you are, what the resolution is, what's going on in your life at the time, and so many other things. But some of the main reasons that we don't stick to them is because we don't know why we're actually setting the resolution. We're not actually ready to start. We haven't put in the thought and the action that it requires. And because we bite off way more than we can chew. So the very first thing that you need to do when you are sitting down and you are making a New Year's resolution specifically around fitness is to figure out why you want to lose weight, build muscle, become fitter, be healthier, all of those things. You have to know why you're doing it. And that why has to be able to power you through all of the times when you don't want to do the thing. For me, my why is because I wanna be able to walk and be independent when I am 80 years old. I do have other motivators that also go along with that, but that is really my biggest why. I want you to find your why, maybe, Think about people that you have in your life or in your family that struggle as they get older because they haven't stuck to a fitness regimen throughout their entire life. Think about those people and be like, I don't want to have that for myself. And I really, really caution you to not have the number on the scale or the way that you look to be your main why, because that is only gonna motivate you for so long, especially the number on the scale that we're gonna talk about that more in a second, but it is just such a fickle thing and it is not gonna keep you motivated through the hard times. So focus on being there for your kids as they get older, being able to move when you're older, being able to move now. Maybe you have health concerns that are coming up now. Maybe you're struggling with prediabetes or have a high risk factor for heart disease. Those things can be changed and reversed by working out. Have it be connected to your life and your ability to live your life fully. Those things are so much more motivational than just how you look or the number that shows up on the scale when you step on it. But whatever it is, I want you to know it. I want you to be very, 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 very aware of why you want to show up to the gym of why you wanna get in shape, that is gonna power you through. So once you have your why, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to find the time in your schedule. I've talked about this before, but you have to start with the when. The what will come in time, the what you'll figure it out, but you have to start with why and when. When are you going to work out? Because if you're trying to stick to a fitness regime, there has to be a time when you show up. So you are gonna pick two to three days every single week that you are going to show up for yourself. It doesn't matter if you are going to the gym, if you're going for walks, if you're going for runs, if you're going to group fitness classes, Pilates, whatever it is, you need to figure out when you can commit to doing those things two to three times per week. And I don't want you to go more than two or three times per week, unless you already have some kind of workout schedule that you have been sticking to before the new year. I only want you to pick two or three days per week. That is it. One could also work, but for me and for some of the clients that I've worked with in the past, one day per week is just not quite enough for you to build a habit, whereas two days is actually a little bit better for you mentally, even though it's more of a commitment, it helps you to build the habit. So stick to two to three days, depending on your schedule. Try to show up consistently at the same time every week. If you can't do that, maybe you're doing workout classes and you have to like schedule those in based on availability. Try to sit down every single Sunday and figure out when that week you are going to show up to the gym or do whatever kind of workout you are doing. And then January 1st through January 31st, or January 2nd, I know most things aren't open on the 1st, but January 2nd to January 31st, you are going to commit to showing up for those two to three days. And you have to show up every single week for those two to three days days. I do not want you to focus on anything else other than that. I don't want you to make any changes in the kitchen, any changes to what you're eating, any changes to other exercise that you're doing throughout the week. That is the 
only thing that I want you to commit to. If you feel like grabbing a salad for lunch instead of a fast food item, 100% do that. But I don't want you to commit to doing that. I only want you to commit to showing up two to three days per week, every single week. And this will sound easy. This sounds really easy right now on December, whatever the hell it is right now. It sounds so easy, but on January 7th, you are not gonna wanna show up. I promise you by sometime in mid January, there will be a day when you're like, man, I know Stacy said that I had to do this every week for a month, but like, I just don't wanna show up today. I don't feel good, I'm tired, I didn't sleep well enough last night. And here's what you're gonna, are you gonna do on the days where you feel like that? You're gonna get your little butt out of bed or off the couch and you are going to go anyway. Yes, I do, I'm a huge proponent of taking rest days, but there are moments where you have to push through. Obviously, if you have like an actual cold or you're throwing up or you can't breathe through your nose, don't go to the gym. I get that. But for this first month, regardless of how you feel, regardless of where you are in your cycle, regardless of anything else going on, except in some circumstances where you're really stressed and your body just needs rest, but ask me, DM me and ask me if you need to go to the gym on those days and I'll let you know, okay? I'll talk you through it. But I want you to show up for five minutes. That's it, just five minutes. If you show up for five minutes and you still feel like crap, you can go home and you can take a little nap. I understand, I get it. There are some days where after those five minutes, you're not gonna wanna stay and that is okay. But 99% of the time, you're gonna stick around and you're gonna end up feeling better for it. I promise you, it will work. Show up for five minutes, that is it. Commit to it for one month. And on those moments where you don't wanna go, I want you to tell yourself that this is the deciding moment. This is when every other person that sets resolutions fails. This is the moment where they give up. That first moment where you don't wanna go, if you give into that, you are not gonna show up for the rest of the year. And obviously that is not always the case. Of course, you can pick up and you can work out and you can start building a fitness routine whenever you want. But I want you to commit. I want you to commit regardless of your motivation. I want you to say, this is the deciding moment and I'm going to decide to show up for myself, to show up for my why. We talked about earlier, I am going to show up. And you show up for five minutes. That's all I ask. It doesn't have to be a big thing. And as far as what you're doing at the gym during this time, I don't care. Literally, I do not care. I have some workout videos on my channel. There's a million workout videos on YouTube and it's Instagram everywhere. Don't do anything where you're gonna hurt yourself. Start really basic. If you feel like lifting weights, use the machines. There's little diagrams on every single one of those machines that tell you how to use them. I do not care what you're doing in this first month. Show up for workout classes, do what they, whatever they say. Just show up and do something. Don't focus too much on the what, okay? I know it can be confusing and I know it can be very overwhelming, but you know, ask somebody that works out at the gym, what are you doing? Watch what other people are doing. Show up for the first two weeks and literally just walk on the treadmill and watch what other people are doing or stretch in the turf area and just watch what other people are doing. You will slowly start to get an understanding of what to do, but right now we are just focusing on the when we're doing it and showing up and building the habit. And another thing that you are not going to do in January is weigh yourself. I have worked with clients in the past that they are so motivated at the beginning of the year, they sign up for a personal trainer, they get really, really committed and excited to showing up at the gym, and they make the mistake of only focusing on the scale. And I can promise you, while you are building a habit of working out, if you're only really, really being consistent with just focusing on that habit, which is the sustainable way to do it so you're not gonna crash and burn later on, you are probably not going to lose much if any weight. And I've had this in the past where clients would come to me and be like, I'm not really losing a ton of weight right now. Like I have friends that are doing this fad diet and like going crazy with working out all the time and doing cardio and they're losing a ton of weight and I just am not doing that. Why is this not working for me? And the reality is it is working for them, but they're looking at the wrong things. They're looking at the scale versus wow, I showed up for myself and worked out really consistently in a super, super balanced way two to three days per week for an entire month, which is more than 80% of people who set New Year's resolutions do because those people that are on the fad diets, they're not gonna be there in February. 
they're gonna be burned out, their body's gonna be tired, they're gonna have starved themselves for an entire month, and they're not going to be consistent. They will not be there in December, I can tell you that right now. And they're gonna have gained the weight back. The way to sustainable change is to commit little by little. Right now we're just focusing on building the habit, we're gonna add the other stuff in later and we are going to lose the weight that we need to lose. If we need to lose weight, we might need to gain weight, we might need to build muscle. But if your focus is on losing weight, do not weigh yourself for the first two months of the year, okay? You look at other things, you look at the way you feel, you look at the way you're committed to actually showing up for yourself for once in a really balanced way. Do not weigh yourself. Okay, so you have showed up January 1st to January 31st, you're feeling a little, little good now. You've got your consistent routine built. Now I want you to start focusing a little bit more on what you're doing. So after that month, you've kind of gotten a little bit more of an idea of what you enjoy doing in the fitness world. You've tried out some different things. You've tried a little bit of li weightlifting. You've tried some walks. You know, I just want you to experiment in that first month. But after that first month, or whenever you feel like you've actually made this a consistent habit, that might be six months down the road, but we're saying a month, but that you don't have to be ready yet. I want you to start getting a little bit more committed to kind of having a little bit more of a split. So I personally would recommend that you start three days per week. If you're working out three days per week, start with an upper body lifting day, a lower body lifting day, and then a third day that is some kind of cardio or low impact type workout. That could be Pilates, it could be yoga, it could be you just going for a walk, whatever that looks like for you. But that will kind of get you a good baseline of we're building some muscle on these two days and we're also focusing on some mobility, some, some strength, some like core strength type things on the other third day. If you're only working out two days per week, then I would recommend you spend the first one doing some kind of upper body workout uh, along with a little bit of cardio at the end and then the other day you're going to be doing lower body with some kind of cardio and incorporating stretching into both of those days as well and you don't have to do a lot literally just doing three to four exercises of upper body lower body for upper body you'll do like some chest press some like pulling movements for your back maybe some like press for your shoulders just focusing just very generally on kind of those more compound type movements. You don't need to get too, too focused on anything right now. For lower body, do leg press. Again, focusing on kind of some of those machines. So maybe you don't want to do a squat, but you can do a leg press doing like leg extensions. Again, watching other people in the gym, seeing what they're doing for their workouts, looking up videos on YouTube, watch some of my videos. I have like a week of workouts for weight loss that is very focused on weightlifting. Figure out some kind of split for yourself and start kind of building your own fitness routine during that February timeframe. And if you're feeling really, really good and you feel like, okay, like I, I've got this under my belt, I'm really good at showing up for myself those two to three days, you can also start incorporating a little bit more movement, like going for walks on the weekends or whenever you, you know, have some free time. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but you can start kind of incorporating some other habits, maybe even changing some things up in the kitchen. Just keep it really, really small and don't overcommit yourself. So you've made it through February. You are two months in, guys. I'm so proud of you. You're doing awesome. You're way better than most people who set around new year's resolutions you've made it over that hump you're you're killing it right now you're killing it and it is march and this is when you're really going to start creating your own routine if you feel like adding more days in at this point i highly recommend it you don't have to keep it low impact you know don't be killing yourself six days a week Add a fourth day if you feel like it, go for an extra long walk on the weekends, whatever that looks like for you, start just adding just a little bit more. And this is gonna be the time that you're really gonna start focusing on maybe getting into a calorie deficit if you're looking to lose some weight, kind of just tracking your macros to see where you're at, see how much protein you're intaking, start learning a little bit more about ways that you can eat a little bit healthier in the kitchen, start focusing on more whole foods, really start supporting the things that you have been doing in the gym for the past two months in the kitchen now. We're not starting that in January because it's a little too overwhelming. We're starting it now in March once we've built our fitness routine. 
And you could do this the other way around too. You could in January start just focusing on building a little bit better diet and only maybe going for a walk once a week. What I'm saying is don't overcommit in January. Slowly start to add those little habits in over time. That's what this is all about. That is how you're gonna be successful and not fall into the trap of 80% of Americans. You're gonna be the 20%. You are gonna be the 20% this year, guys. You're gonna do it. I know you are. If you want to, now is the time for you to step on the scale. Hopefully you've lost a little bit of weight, but if you haven't, I don't want you to panic because yes, you have been working out, but you've also been doing a little bit of strength training, hopefully, hopefully built some muscle, and that means you're probably gonna weigh a little bit more, and that is okay because now we're gonna start making some other changes in the kitchen. We're gonna lose that weight. Do not cut your calories more than 500 calories into a deficit ever, and be easy on yourself. Cut down just a little bit, go into a 100 calorie deficit, go from there, see if you're losing weight. If you're not, cut it a little bit more, and do not stay there for more than six months, okay? Do not stay in the calorie deficit for more than six months. We're bringing those calories back up, and then we're doing a little bit of a cut again. Also, that's gonna be a lot easier now because you have that muscle that you have built in the gym for the past two months, and you're now gonna have a higher me metabolic rate because of that muscle, because muscle is more metabolically active than fat is. So it's gonna be easier for you to lose that weight, and you're gonna be more motivated by the scale now because you'll actually be seeing it go down in a sustainable way while you're not absolutely going crazy starving yourself. But make sure that you are still focusing on other areas, like how your clothes are fitting, how consistently you're showing up, how strong you are, how much weight you can move in the gym. Focus on those other areas and don't only focus on the scale, even now that you've built the habit of showing up for yourself in the gym. And the last thing that I will leave you guys with is it is possible. I know that 80% of Americans do not stick to their New Year's resolutions, but you are going to be the 20% this year. You are going to do it slow. You're going to add habits in slowly over time. You're gonna do it. I promise you it is possible. Do not give up on yourself. I want any time that you are feeling not like showing up for yourself, not like showing up for those five minutes, I want you to come back to this video and I want you to know that you are going to do it. Do not give up on yourself. Do this for you. Do this for 80 year old you so that you can move and walk and feel good in your body now and in your body in the future because you are so freaking worth it, okay? You are worth it. You are worth committing to a fitness routine. I don't care if you have other things going on in your life. I know that we're busy. I know that some of us have kids and we have to commit to pouring into them. But if you are not pouring into yourself, you're not gonna be able to show up for them in the way that they deserve. You deserve to take care of yourself. You deserve to show up at the gym. You deserve to feel good in your own body. You deserve to not have to be on medications. You deserve to not have to be pre-diabetic and to have to worry about heart disease and cancer affecting you. Yes, there's only so much that we can do for some of those things, but if you are healthier and if you take care of yourself and if you move your body and you care for your body, those things are not going to get you as much. I know the world sucks and I wish that we could just get rid of everything with healthy diet and exercise, but I promise you, you are so worth it. So commit this year. Come back to this video. Commit. You can do it. I know it's hard and I know you're tired, but you're gonna do it this year. Show up for yourself today, tomorrow, the next day, but focus on today. You can do it today. Okay, that was my message to you. Yeah, that that is my method. We're keeping it small. We're sticking to little things. Every month we're adding just a little bit more. And from here on out, you are on your own. From March 31st on, you are committed to whatever kind of fitness routine you feel is best for your life. If you need some more direction, like I said, I have some other videos. There are a ton of amazing videos on YouTube. If you're really confused, because I know the world of fitness can be really, really confusing, reach out to me, message me. I'm currently not certified as a personal trainer, but I can point you in the right direction to people who are certified, who have great information on what workouts to do, on what to eat correctly. I know it's confusing, but there is great information out there if you just kind of look for it a little bit. But the most important thing that you're gonna focus on is just showing up and moving your body somehow in a way that you're not gonna hurt yourself. So don't like overdo it or strain yourself or anything. Show up, go for walks, do machines at the gym, eat whole foods, 
and you're 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 gonna do great things i promise you so if you guys are interested in sticking around i do make a lot of videos on fitness related things living your productive healthy life i do a lot of goal setting a lot of planning and i also am just like your average human being who's just trying to figure out what she's doing with her life and whatnot so stick around i would love to have you if you do have any specific requests questions anything you would like me to make a video about or anything please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video if it was helpful at all. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.